Hello YouTubers! Welcome back to the Sega Genicast! My name is Michael and I'll be your commentator today on my let's play of Sonic Adventure. So we have just hopped off the train and we are landed here in the Mystic Ruins and I'm gonna give a nice pan around because you guys have to believe me, I am a nice guy. And we're gonna walk right over here to Tails Workshop and see the most epic cutscene in the world. And no, I'm not being sarcastic when I'm saying that. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! That cutscene is easily one of my favorite parts in the game because there are so many nice one-liners that are being exchanged and that robotic theme is freaking epic, you know, playing in the background stuff. And now we're gonna fight the Egg Hornet and... This boss is super easy. All he really does is that he just sprays and prays his missiles at you. But since you are Sonic, you're too fast for him. All you really need to do is just like spin dash your way across the map. And eventually he's going to do this drill thing where, like, see right there, he tries to kill you with his drill. He ends up missing, getting stuck in the ground. And then you do a homing attack on him. And that easily takes a, you know, away a third of his health. So yeah, this boss battle is a lot like a waiting game. So I'm going to do another homing attack into him and take another third of his health away. Here comes the missiles. Ugh, I almost got stuck there. Man, that would have sucked if I lost all my rings because that's a no-no in the Sonic universe. Okay, here comes Eggman with his big freaking drill and he's going to miss as always. I'm going to do a homing attack and ta-da! I have beaten this boss. You know what guys, I've never got the point of the total score at the end of the bosses. To me, I think they're absolutely pointless, but do you guys know anything about this? Do they actually serve a point? Tell me in the comments down below. And get ready for epic cutscene number 2. And I also want you guys to pay attention to the noise that Eggman's ship makes when he's crashing on the ground. You'll find it hilarious. Well, that wasn't so hard. Aha! Oh no! Come on, Chaos! Time to leap! Chaos! Oh no, isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? Alright, after defeating Eggman, 
we are gonna go to our next action stage but first we must find a key obviously and I'm going to pick it up it is called a windstone and obviously if you can't read the windstone is a key it must be designed for something and we are going to take that windstone and put it to this pedestal right here and then we're gonna jump on these I don't know what's going on here some kind of wind tunnel or something and we're going to enter into our next action stage which is named wind valley oh I'm sorry windy valley my bad on that part and we're about to listen to the most tranquil music on the planet oh my goodness what a great way to start off this stage and definitely it is definitely a windy valley as you're gonna see in a few moments we just got ourselves an electric shield which is cool I mean that's one of the three shields that they brought back from Sonic 3 and Knuckles and I think that's actually that's actually one of my favorite shields in that game but you know I like the fire shield better but okay this is Sonic Adventure, not Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So let's get back on topic here, and we just got sucked right into the tornado. And now we're inside the tornado, and we have to find ourselves a way out of here. So let's jump with these number pads. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm sure you, all of you guys know how to count. Now, I like how this music pauses like right now. I like that part of the song, because it lets you know you are in deep freaking trouble. Let's, let's jump onto the spring and just exit out of the tornado like bazing! Okay, this is to Sonic fans. If you do not recognize the song that is playing right now, you are not a true Sonic fan because this song is from Sonic 3D Blast for the Genesis and it belongs to Green Grove Zone. And yeah, this song is freaking awesome! In fact, it is so awesome that the composer that made this song brought this song from 3D Blast to this game so that it could be heard by a more popular crowd. And I cannot thank the composer enough for bringing this song into this stage because it totally fits it. It actually makes me feel like there's actual wind blowing on my face. And yeah, we're gonna jump into these springs. This part of Windy Valley is easily the most memorable and the best part about this stage. I mean, it's so fun to travel through. It's in the sky and everything. The downside is you can fall off off here just like I'm going to, you know, that's kind of... That's not fun. I was trying to take a shortcut here, and I guess the message that Sonic Adventure is trying to convey to me is that there are no shortcuts in life. So I'm just going to take the long way around, which is boring, I don't like it. So screw you, Sonic Adventure. I'm going to take a shortcut right here. Now, right there. And I actually made it. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Why am I glitching like this? What the? What? What? Aw, oh, Sonic Adventure, how could you do this to me? That's not fair. I was just only trying to cut my time by a little bit. Can you please be a little bit more lenient with me? Please? But yeah, now we're gonna get to the Chaos Emerald and we just beat Windy Valley Zone. And what is Tails doing right in front of Sonic? Tails, get out of the way! And we have just completed level C. Oh yeah, this is something I need to touch upon. Um, in order to get more emblems for a stage, you need to complete them three different times. You know, kind of like they have different objectives and stuff like that. I beat level C, but there's also a level B and A, which I have to complete in order to get two more emblems. But then again, the emblems are useless, so I see absolutely no point in doing that. And now, apparently, we have to board the train to get back to Station Square, which is not told you by this game unless you touch the hint orb, you know? Which is what I hate about this game. It doesn't make it clear about what you're supposed to do next, which kind of stinks. I'm just glitching through those two posts right there, and we're on our way back to Station Square. I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, I'm back! Did you miss me? Well, we're back in Station Square, and apparently we're gonna have to go through the sewers! Yay, doesn't that sound fun? Sonic has to travel through a manhole. That's the perfect job for a hedgehog, right? No, no, it's, it's not. But the reason why we have to go through this manhole is, well, because we're gonna get this um, power-up and stuff. And here's the actual second part of Station Square. And there's really not much more to Station Square. Well, actually, 
yeah there is another part but I'll show you it later and yeah now we're just down in the sewers and the Sonic's dripping with ah, nasty foul odors okay let's just leave it like that okay and here's the power up I was talking about now you've got light speed shoes press and hold the action button to store up power once you have enough power release the button and you can do the light speed dash the light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed as long as there's a trail of rings you can go just about anywhere I like how they're called light speed shoes, but ironically, they are as slow as dirt. That's what I hate about this move. You have to charge this thing, which is ridiculous. In Sonic Adventure 2, you can just press a button. I forgot which button it was for the Dreamcast version. I don't remember. But you just press a button and you zip on the rings. That's the way it was supposed to be done. Not this charge up, you know, BS. It's totally ridiculous. This move is absolutely useless in this game because of that. The only time you would use it in the game is only when the game demands you to use it. Okay guys, I'm not gonna head to the next action stage yet because, well obviously you know how much I hate about, you know, the light speed shoes charging up. Well, there is an optional power up you can get in this game. It's located right in this room. And I believe, I think it's right here. No, 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 no. It's up these stairs. Man, I hate how the camera works in this game. It's really finicky and stuff. But yeah, you can see right here how, you know, there's those line of rings that I'm supposed to use my light speech dash on. And what the crap. Oh, oh, I could have, oh, uh, no, why, why did I do that? That's dumb, why did I do this? Okay, okay. Calm down, Michael. We, we can do this, we can make, make it through. By the power of the light speed dash. I am Sonic the Hedgehog! Well, if you guys didn't know, that was a reference from He-Man, but, you know. Ah, uh, apparently we didn't make it. That didn't work. Ah, uh, man. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try it one more time. The third time's a charm. For me, it's three strikes or I'm out of the ball game. Let's see how this ball rolls. And am I in? Am I in? No, no! Woo! I did it! I cut right through the door! That's so cool! And now, I have just received, finish it, Hint Orb. This is the crystal ring. There you this go. This is the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. Now, I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but whenever you press on that button, it sounds like you're pressing it like a freaking thousand times. It, it sounds messed up. I'm not sure if that's its purpose, you know, to sound like that, but yeah, but let's head into... You know why I was mentioning earlier about the next part of Station Square? Well, here it is, and it leads to a surprise, you see here. It is the casino! Yes! Our next action stage would be a casino, and you can see the only way to get there is by this trail of rings. Unfortunately, guys, you knew it was coming. I'm going to have to end my video right here because I'm out of time. So, join me next week as we gamble all of our dinero away at the casino. My name is Michael and I wish you peace.